What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another bonus episode right here of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, or our Cheats Codes events uh, episode right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. So, in this episode right here, I am going to show you how to capture the two legendary Pokemon from Johto, that is Ho-Oh and Lugia. Now, if you guys don't know, Generation 3 used to have events that were spread worldwide and all that stuff. You had to have some kind of special device in order to get it, but unfortunately for us right now, we live in basically the future. There is no such things as Generation 3 events. So what we have to do is the next best thing is uh, Generation or Game Shark codes, which will actually help us get the events properly and all that stuff, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So. What you gotta do now is you actually have to go back to the uh, uh, to the PC and go back into your PC in order to get what is called, let's see, hold on, let me see, let me see. Withdraw the Mystic Ticket right here. Now, you withdraw that and then you go to the SS title and the same thing will happen just like in the last event, uh, in the last event that we showed with Mew. Now, the codes will be on to the description right here. Just make sure to copy all of them and then just put them on your Game Shark or your VBA and all that stuff. And it will take you to the island that you need to go. So now what we're going to be doing right here is going straight to the SS title and see what these people will actually say. So let's go ahead and talk to this lady. The ferry, uh, the ferry to Slayport is... Oh, that pass. She goes back inside and she's she, she gets this guy out again. He's like, is it you who brought that odd ticket? Where are you trying to go? Is it an island that far, far away? No one know what, knows where uh, what awaits there. The thought, the thought that excites my blood is a sailing man. Get on board, youngster. Oh, so you can finally help us. You didn't want to help us in the last one, but it is what it is. So here we are, guys. We are in, uh, let's see, Naval or Naval Rock. Naval Rock, of course, has two floors to it. The top floor, the bottom floor, you guys know what the deal is. And, uh, well, just like in any event, you will actually try and find the legendary Pokemon. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to go by pecking order right here. Let's see, there is only one. Oh, yeah, there's only one right here. So we're going to go in here, and as you can see, there's a bottom floor, and, well, let's see where will, will this will take us and all that stuff. Don't necessarily know where, where to go right now, but... You will actually find the two legendary Pokemon, Ho-Oh and, Ho Ho and Lugia. Now, if you guys remember from my very, very first or second... Hell, I don't even remember what walkthrough I did. Okay, so now there's two stairs right there. A top one and a bottom one. As you probably already know, top one goes to Ho-Oh, bottom one goes to Lugia. Now, what I was saying, in my original Emerald walkthrough that I did back in maybe 2011 or possibly 2013, I did do this, uh, this event. But it was a different kind of code where it actually warped us to the Naval Rock. Now this one is an actual, it's a proper code that will actually get you the event right here. This is what actually happens when you have that eye of that certain item. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go straight to Ho-Oh first. Trust me guys, it's, uh, <laughs> it is a doozy uh, ways away right here. Look at that. That's three, four, four floors? I don't even know. No, actually it's Lugia's, uh, or yeah, Lugia's floor that's actually very, very long down below right there. Now, if you guys haven't caught my last episode, I will be using Master Balls. I already caught these Pokemon legitimately, uh, or the in-game legendary Pokemon legitimately, so I don't want to, I don't even want to hear. I just don't even want to struggle. I'm just showing you how to catch these Pokemon, if you want the challenge and all that stuff. So, let's go. We're going up right here, and there's nobody now. And there he is. Holy bejeebus. There he is. And if it's, yeah, if, it, if, it, if it's not not enough, look at its level. Level 70 Ho-Oh. -Oh. And right now, I am at a huge disadvantage because, yes, uh, Skyblade is a Steel-type Pokemon. So let's see what a Steel Wing does to this guy. Now, like I said, I will be capturing these guys with Master Balls. And just like its predecessors and its uh, predecessors or its successors and whatever, whatever successors there are. These Pokemon know how to recover. They know how to screw with you. So it is going to be a challenge to try and capture these Pokemon right here. So, like always, I am going to try and capture this guy with an Ultra Ball just to be, you know, legitimate for right now. But I know I'm not going to capture this guy. I just want to check its stats. I just, no, I just want to check its moveset. As you already know, it has Sunny Day to power up its Fire Blast. It has Recover just to, you know, like I said, mess with you. 
And, uh, well, since it's a sunny day, I do not want to mess with that. Let's go right ahead and capture this bastard. That's right, Master Ball. Go. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just caught the ho. -oh. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that is another legendary Pokemon right into our, uh, into our collection right here. Number 250. Ho-ho, uh -oh, the rainbow Pokemon, 12 feet, 403, or 438 pounds of pure rainbow right here. Its feathers, which glow in the seven colors depending on the angle of which they are struck by the light, are thought to be joy. It is said to live in the foot of a, of a rainbow. That is pretty much true because Ash, Ash Ketchum has... The, well, that, that this is pretty much the first legendary Pokemon that Ash, Ke, Ash Ketchum has actually seen. So there it is, we caught... Uh oh, the uh, the rainbow Pokemon and all that stuff. Now, if you guys can't listen to the music, it kind of reminds you of a uh, Pokemon uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of that. Anywho, let's go to the bottom floor now to actually capture uh, Lugia right here. And uh, well, since Lugia or since Ho uh oh is a uh, level 70 Pokemon, you best believe that Ho uh oh is going to be level 70. And I believe this is one, two. Three, let's go. Four, holy crud. Five, six, oh my god. Seven, eight, nine, let's get it, let's get it, and ten. Ten floors? Eleven? Come on, man. Okay, so we got eleven floors. Never mind, okay. Whew, okay, so as you probably already know, Lugia, the legendary Pokemon of Johto, it is a, um, what was it, Psychic and Water type Pokemon? Psychic and Dragon? Fuck, I can't even remember. It has been a while, but there he is, waiting for us. And it is, of course, at level 70. It will try and do the same thing to you. So I'm going to go with Swamp Lord right here. Man, it's been a while since I've seen my Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald right here. So let's go right ahead and talk to Lugia right now. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. That, that, that right there is scary. Okay, so here it is, guys. Lugia, the legendary Pokemon. Scary as fuck. And uh, here comes Swamp Lord. Alrighty. I'm gonna try and mess with this Pokemon just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, crud. I have, I have, I have moves that. Actually, you know what? I don't think Earthquake would work on it. But here comes its Rain Dance. Trying to power up its specialty move. I believe it's Hydro Pump. It does have Recover. Of course, Earthquake does not work on Lugia right there. And the rain continues to fall, but of course it will actually power up my water type moves, which I'm trying not to use. I'm just, I'm on purposely using Earthquake just to show what kind of moves this Pokemon actually has. And, uh, well, the rain continues to fall. Rain drops keep falling on my head. Here comes the Hydro Pump. Oh, crud. And that didn't really take a lot, but as you probably already noticed, Lugia will be a hard Pokemon to actually try and capture as well in a, any kind of regular form. So let's go right ahead and throw another Master Ball just to capture this Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, look at this. One, two, and three. Bam. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves the next Johto Pokemon, Lugia. And here it is, the diving Pokemon. Lugia is so powerful, even light fluttering of its wings can blow apart houses. As a result, it chooses to live out in it, uh, live out a sight deep under the sea. Uh, I, that, yeah, I can see what the problem would be if you know it would be outside and all that stuff. That literally, it would literally destroy everything with just a glare or a glimpse or you know a little reflection of its uh, wings and all that stuff. If it does have some wings, I don't even know. So that is pretty much it right there, guys, for another capturing, another event capturing right here of our uh, Pokemon, in, or in Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. Good God, there are so many freaking floors. Good God. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the part that I did not like. Okay, so there it is. So, yeah, that, that concludes this episode right here, guys. In the next one, we are going to probably do Deoxys. I'm not so sure, but this is part of our Finish February, which, of course, you guys already got on my uh, community page right there. Finish February is uh, basically me finishing up a lot of the stuff that I, I have yet to finish in previous walkthroughs, one being Pokemon Emerald right here. So that's a lot of legendary Pokemon, a lot of event Pokemon right there. So, yes. Yes, we are safe, and we should just get the heck out of here. 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So like I said, guys, all the codes will be right there on the description. So make sure to actually use every single one of those codes to actually try and find the Pokemon that you want to actually find. Uh, and uh, let's see. If there's anything else I can say. Yeah. Shout out to Zorark, uh, Zorark's clone for the codes. Legitimate, uh, a legitimate YouTuber, which actually helped me get to this part right here. So, again, thank you, Zorox Clone. Big old shout out to you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.